Welcome back to GDPG, Game Devs Play Games, a show where we talk about games while playing games and game designs, games, games, games. Yes. We also make games, but we don't really do that on the show. No. That, I mean, weird. that is the name, right? Like, <laughs> we actually do have people sometimes that are like, so do you make games too? Like, yeah, I guess... <laughs> I, we know, don't really I do that really on the show. That very much. That's a good point. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're playing Banner Saga 2, the preview. The preview, uh, which Stoke means awesome. that it hasn't released yet, and we're playing it before it's officially released. Although at this point, it might be maybe released. it's already released. Maybe not. Maybe you'll <laughs> you'll know. You'll figure it out. All right, cool. So basically, what happened is I just had to like do another wave of fighting, kind of like in the first one when you're asked to if you want to kill a few more as in, they flee. In the warfare system, yeah. Yeah, except for in this case, it was like it was either a, it was a... sacrifice people <laughs> or keep fighting them back, so what decision am I going to make, really? Right. So anyway, and it was did... a hard fight because I was careless in the first round, didn't think, didn't think that this was going to happen, so I basically had to just like push this guy to death because this purple one is really tough and Avon with his the attack power of 11 won it for me. <laughs> it's so good. Well, you it's also ridiculous. You also had um, uh, Krumer that was just like untouched from the previous battle. Walked walk up, up and like just... two people like just brought him down and then they immediately just hounded him like four <laughs> people just took him down. Uh, so uh, I'm good. glad she got promoted because she went down. Glad well, we got, got a lot promoted. of promotions. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> that is awesome. It's like... I don't know. I, I, I feel like it was like, yeah, they're level one characters. I mean, they're not, but, you know, they feel like level one. 18 Renown. It's pretty good. Pretty good. That's really good. I mean, we did fight two battles, so it, I guess some of. Be good. I wish I could have read that. All right. Oh, that's weird. We might make it down the river to the capital without any more trouble. You look at Ivor surprised by his optimism. <laughs> that is a little strange. <laughs> and I might sprout wings and start flying. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Ivor. Thanks. <laughs> Would that make up for the missing arm? <laughs> oh man, Rick, Rick has got some sass. He, he all of a sudden turned it around and I ever. <laughs> I gotta make jokes about losing my arm. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's fair. So, what are you worried about now? I think you should make use of that trainer and his tent. Uh, of this trainer in his tent that we haul around everywhere. That trainer is he tent. telling us that we sucked in the last battle? Maybe <laughs> you've led fighter fighters in battle before, but there's always more to learn. So let's bank uh, bank the ships and challenge your skills a bit. That's one thing that this game doesn't really have. Actually, now that I think about it, it doesn't have any context dialogue in terms of like you sucked at this battle. Let's talk about them. <laughs> Um, not that I think this game necessarily would need it, but it, it's it's always interesting when I see that being done in games. Yeah, yeah, and that's fair. I mean, it kind of has actually happened in this game a lot. It's like, Rook, you charged out into the middle of the battlefield and almost got yourself killed. What the hell? Right? Well, come this, on. Is this a trainer? I guess so. Yeah. I don't remember him before. He, he might Sven, not have had a... the trainer says. Yeah, maybe he didn't have a face in the last game. After a quick assessment, he says, yup. Looks like you could stand to learn a few things. <laughs> Somehow you haven't learned. <laughs> you only already. killed a bellower. <laughs> I've got five challenges for you. And if you can finish them all before you get to Aberang, well, I'll let everyone oh. know you impress me. Ha! Ah! Sven's laughter is full of phlegm. Phlegm. Ugh. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with a few basics. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. <laughs> oh, I guess Now I'm I just ready. imagine he's a heavy smoker, just like... <laughs> Then we begin. <laughs> then we begin. Sven <laughs> barks. <laughs> I, I couldn't hear you over the seven cigarettes I'm smoking. <laughs> I like how he also be like is now from Boston. <laughs> oh, look at the oh, this is cool. They give you objectives. Okay, so form a shield wall. I ball, think this is going to be using new. puncture. What's puncture? Okay, use I heavy impact to, to, to deal three damage to. Deal damage to three enemies at once. Okay, cool. Whoa. Uh, click on the objective. So not only is it teaching us about the training tent, Battle which objective. definitely existed in the last game, but now we have objectives, which I'm starting to wonder if those objectives are going to be in all battles from now on. This might just be a straight-up new mechanic. 
and not just a tutorial thing. It, you're actually, that's a really good point. I mean, that's pretty so common with a lot of strategy this. games like this. We actually saw exactly this kind of thing in uh, Chroma Squad when Geek Arius and I played it. And I thought it was really interesting there, but I'm curious to see if this is actually a mechanic in the Banner Saga 2. I want to see how it actually functions. Okay, so... Like uh, what the reward is, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's also interesting because we're using, like, no names in this battle. <laughs> and Hacken. And Hacken. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to train Rook. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so Cole, we want to move Rook him was, up. Rook was like, ah, they'll do the learning for me. <laughs> but no, sir, I just told you that you... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ah, okay, so stabby stab stabs. I guess it makes sense why you just hack in because you don't really have any other like no name varls that just have heavy impact. That is sort of Hacken's thing. Yeah, they also give you shield wall. Like we have M M Hugen and Mugen, so they uh, Hogan I'm, and Mogan. Hogan and Mogan. You keep doing Dang this. It. <laughs> um, they're not three enemies are not next to each other, so I'm just gonna attack this guy and deal armor to him. And, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Just murder them when you finally deal the heavy impact. Hopefully I can kill him with puncture. It's so mean. Oh, there you go. There we go. And can she use Bird of Prey to reach? Yep. There's one objective done. Kill an enemy using puncture. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one where if they've lost uh, armor. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. Okay, let's go. So you need to find a way to lure those three closer to Hogan. Or, not Hacken. Hogan. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. right now, guys. <laughs> it is. If, yeah, if you can't tell. late. <laughs> cool, perfect. I will move you out of the way. Over here. Ah, yeah. Nice. Now it doesn't. Does it affect enemies on the diagonal? Oh, crap. I don't think it does. I think I just screwed up. Well, you didn't screw up. You just you, you'll have to not attack. <laughs> There's still three guys in the field. No, it's not too late. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> you uh, really did pulverize that guy, though. Like he was there, and then he wasn't there. <laughs> What Hacken does, though. To be That's very honest. much what Hacken does. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm, I'm just gonna bring his health down. I'm just, I, I just don't want him to kill my guys in the time that I'm trying to okay, set up okay. for, the, for the big kablooey. All right, what I'm gonna do? It's training anyway. It's okay if they move die. Back like this, and then. And now they'll turn. all focus on Hacken. Yep. Ideally. Yep. Yep. Or they'll just. I would wait. just sit there. I'm just gonna go like here block them so they can't get to my other people and turn. Okay, there you go. No, you in your ranged <laughs> attacks. Ah. Oh, so let hack annoying. and die. Crap. Well, the next guy to move is going to be the guy that's farthest away. I believe. Come on, come on. I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would just just it's just, it's just that, man. It's just, it's just feathers. Poke. God damn it. <laughs> Dumb. Do better, Mo. Because I can't Nathan. control. Uh... No, no, no. This might work because. Oh yeah, no, it works. It, it'll spread. Got it. Shkapow! There we Boom. go. Done. Done. So. Oh, you didn't have to kill them. You just had to do all the objectives. Yep. Okay, so maybe those objectives may not persist into the actual combat. Um. But I kind of hope that it does, to be oh, honest. I got Renown! What? You didn't get Renown in training before? It was just like a... Meh. What? Yeah, dude. Wait. Uh... They just gave me... A grind... Is this a way of grinding? I imagine you can Check only... Check back frequently for more challenge sessions or spar anytime that's, you like. That's probably what it is, then. So you can do challenge missions which are objective based. And if you complete the objectives, you get renown. Then you can just spar, you won't get any renown, but you'll be able to practice certain tactics. 
So that's that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Like design wise, this does a, a lot of really really useful things for the Banner Saga because for one, honestly, in Banner Saga One, the training system was sort of arbitrary. It was there only because it needed to be, but I don't think it actually. I don't think. I think ninety nine percent of players never touched it. Because why would they? They don't get renowned. Once so. you figure it out, like you, you got it. The only there was only the, the only time that like I would ever go into training is when I first got a, per- a character and I was and you confused wanted to see. about how their abilities work. Yeah, that makes sense. Still and so for the challenge. So can I just? Sure. I'm okay. I'm I'm gonna like give up on this, but I just want to know if I can like go back to this and just keep grinding these missions out and getting this renown. It looks like I can. I mean, I imagine use Mark Prey to have four allies strike an enemy. Ooh. So I, I imagine at a certain point that he's going to be like, okay, I don't have any more challenges for you, but I will have some in a few days. So it also sort of ties in the time system, or it could base it off of location too, for all we know. Yeah. Um, because otherwise then you could just rest like crazy and then be like, and hey, now we'll do some more missions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I yeah I I I do cons- I am a, just a tad concerned just to hoping that they don't have anything like have it to where you can basically just pull off as many missions as you want to get the renown because that will totally it would break everything it would break absolutely it will break everything in especially half. because they give you a decent amount of renown for that like how much did we get twelve from that last one yeah which is is good enough that's Two, that's three, that's four, a good five, battle five. right there yeah um. One, so I, two, I hope you're right three, that four, you don't five. grind. I need to be here. Um, that said, I do like that you can get renowned from this because it is at least if you cannot grind, because it it sort of gives more weight to the training system. Mm-hmm. It sort of justifies its its existence beyond just tutorial means. It Precisely. actually encourages yeah. players to explore these mechanics a lot better, which. Even going back to the Pragmatic Saga playthrough, right? Where Harry Poppins was like, Abilities suck, I hate them, and I'm never going to use them. Sorry, Harry Poppins. Uh, yes. In Ugh. in less uh, <laughs> whiny baby-ish <laughs> ways. <laughs> um, but, but that was his argument, right? That abilities were generally not very useful. And in some regards, he was definitely right. But in other regards, I feel like it was his lack of desire to explore them because there was no... No safe place to do it that actually also rewarded you. So yeah, it felt basically like a waste of time. Exactly. Right. So this encourages players because it's not a waste of time because you're getting renowned, and the player is learning these abilities that much better. It's it's the best of both worlds, honestly. I think whoever decided to do this is is a genius. Like they are a good designer, straight up. Like that's exactly what I would have hoped to see in the next iteration of this game. Yeah. Um, I just I am just so I'm long as it doesn't cons- grind. <laughs> yeah, that is that is my bit, my major immediate concern with it is that is if that's a possibility then uh, I'm I'm definitely like putting my my neck out there for stoic saying that they're definitely smarter than that. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I I feel like there'd be a huge oversight if they did one, let the player just like two. we're going to do these challenges infinitely and just max out all of our characters kind of soaks the fun out of it too if, if that were the case because it's like it's like the same reason you don't use cheat codes in games at least as an adult right I feel like you only use a cheat code if you want to explore different areas of the game after you've already played it but like if it's the first time playing through it you're not going to use a cheat code because it kills the experience it's not fun anymore sorry I think I just failed I can't re- not failed but one two three four five I think of one ally away from being able to hit everybody. Do do ranged fighters are they affected by mark of mark prey? Oh yeah, man. I always had issues with it. Like some fighters just didn't respond when I used mark prey, and I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> that guy is dead. That is why Rook is the best. I'm just gonna exit here. Yeah, we can always do that another time. Um, oh, it Failure, is the end of the episode, your actually. Your grows. All right, so... So we could probably come back to this. I don't see any so reason why... So it said I would have gained renown. So I'm wondering if it's, like, only once in a while this comes up. So here's my thing on it. If, yes, you can use those to get a little extra renown and everything, and that's all good and dandy, 
but it only happens on the occasion when, you know, they want to show you this huge array of characters that you have and you want to know how their <laughs> abilities work. That's very awesome. Yes, I know I'm injured and it sucks. Look how many characters there are. Jeez. There are so, a ton. And we're only going to get introduced to more. I feel like there's room for a fourth row in there. I, yes. So, <laughs> that, I mean, like that being said, then if you only get the occasional chance row. to get that extra renown because you're going through training, all for it, as long as they compensate for that. And knowing Stoic, they probably did. They were like, yeah, people are going to get some extra renown, but we're going to be meaner. And it already feels kind of meaner, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> That's fair. Which is and good. I, right. and, and I think getting that little extra renown is safe because we have so many characters and we're now breaching the five rank mark where now it requires that much more renown. I mean, it it, really obviously, does. there's a little bit of yeah. numbers tweaking so that like you don't need 50 renown to get to... Um, rank six, you need what 11, I think. Yeah, it was. I mean, it so, was so there's obviously some numbers tweaking, but I, regardless, like you're splitting this renown through a lot more characters, so I think it's a lot more difficult to break the game. I think it almost discourages players from min maxing and just like pumping out one character because that yeah. character is not always going to be available. Yeah, just <laughs> as we just saw with not having Rook. We're like, we don't have Rook. We don't have Hacken. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Oh, ah. Yeah, that's uh, actually a really interesting point. Yeah, we didn't have our two powerhouses. That's just, that's uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable. It was great. It was tough. <laughs> anyway, so I guess that would should be the question of the day. It was about the training, because that's what we did. Absolutely. So, uh, you know... Um, what do you feel about that training giving you that renown, which it feels like you're training yourself, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. But how do you feel that could affect this game in a better or worse way? Yes. And how, obviously we haven't seen to what extent it's balanced, but with this mechanic in mind, how would you keep it balanced? I like it. <laughs> that's that's all I got. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to vote in this little voting thing right now if you want yeah. to see us play more of the Banner Saga 2. Um, and then anything else you want us to see, it, it, you want us to play and you to see. I always mess this up whenever I do the outro. Vote. Subscribe. Comment. Like us. Like me. Please like me. <laughs> You're the only ones that all will. All I want are friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>